Hello everyone! Isang masayang Friday morning sa ating lahat. And I just said masayang Friday morning. Kasi pagdating sa puntong ito, wala na kaming mock 3, wala na kaming dry run. Wala na, petix na until go live. So, I think I have a rough week. I have a rough few weeks ahead. And I will cap it off my... One week celebration na kakain ako sa NIU Vikings sa SM Aura this Saturday, uh, August 6, before the celebration of unity. But enough about that. I just want to say thank you everyone for the support. I noticed na yung mga nanonood ng video ko based on the algorithm are not subscribed to the channel. So if you do, like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more of our reviews, gameplay videos, and the likes. And I think mamaya we are doing a DFFO video. It's going to be the Red Comet. I don't know if I'm going to get after the, if I get her FR, but I am planning to spend like what, 200? Tickets for her force weapon. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's reasonable. Or 100 tickets for her force weapon. Because if you lose, you will get Fujin. And you know, I like FF8. And if you don't understand what I am saying, this is about the Siege of Final Fantasy Upper Omni. It's a gotcha game that I played. So if you're into that, please stick on to the channel. Also, I am uh, playing Octopath Continental Chan Champions. I might, re I might release an initial impressions video if I reach 3,000 subscribers. So, yeah, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna enlarge this. Hit that like, subscribe, share, bell icon. Para mag-reach naman tayo. It helps the channel grow. And sana palikan nyo yung video ko kahit ano first time visitors kayo dito sa channel ko. Because every views count and every single uh, contribution to the channel is pretty much appreciated. Also, masashare ko lang ni like ni Katrina Davi yung post ko sa Instagram promoting the review of this movie purification. So, without that, with the introduction out of the way, It's Friday! And you know what that means? It's time for a Viva Max movie review featuring yung kamukha ng kaklase ko, si, ano, si Joseph Elizalde as Ricardo. Yeah, Ricardo. Ricardo Milos. And Cara Gonzalez as Gabriela along with Ava Mendez, Rob Ginto, Katrina Davi, Stephanie Raz, Raz Mataz, you know what, and uh, Queen Carillo. And daming ano, daming lead dito. It's purification. Simulan na ang paglilinis ng mga kasalanan. Well, basically this movie is a whole roundup among us. Who done it? Who did it? Sino ang pumatay? Sino ang impostor? Sino ang morphling? Sino ang nagkasala? At sino ang pum ang nambibiktima sa mga babae na to. Our first victim in this movie, it's not chronologically because the chronological victim, I will talk to that later, but the first victim of this movie is Queen Carillo. She made out and she died by uh, hanging. So she died by foul play tapos binitin siya and this investigation uh ensue. We meet our protagonist Uh, Gabriela, who is like a cop lady, inspector, and she met the priest, the local priest here, Ricardo. Nayon si Ricardo, parang mayroon sa sense na naka ramdam siya ng mga naliligaw na kaluluwa, but we can talk with that about later because it's part of the plot twist. Code on code, air code, plot twist. So yeah. We are. We know that Gabriela Isidro is the wife of a congressman who tends to make out with her forcefully every night. So they have a tumultuous relationship, 
and the congressman also is sponsoring concubines throughout his marriage tenure with Miss Gabriela. Si Gabriela up and coming up and she is assigned to investigate most of the killings of the girls in her village. And her first lead kasi dito is si Nanay Mira. Which she got red-handed trying to kill a girl. Very nice. And because of that, she got promoted as like a junior inspector or something. Yung ganun. Para meron siyang praise sa poli police. But however, the real suspect wasn't caught. Nanay Mira wasn't the, the imposter. So, the case still continues. And... We got our second victim, Rob Ginto. Rob Ginto died by the same way. She had she had some uh, rap uh, intercourse with the suspect, and then she got hanged. And I forgot to mention that that most of the victims have the stigma. Yung parang ano yung pinako yung parang ano markings na pinako siya sa cross. Yeah, yun yung stigma. Rob Ginto eh, and eh, this uh, investigation still continues. Along the way, smitten si Gabriela to the kindness of uh, Ricardo na she often daydreams about him having a uh, rap sex. Pero ika nga, pare kasi si Ricardo, kaya hindi pwede. Parang hanggang daydream ka na lang. You're just going to simp for the uh, priest. We go to our, to our third victim, Stephanie Raz, who is applying for a scholarship at kanino ka mag-apply na scholarship syempre sa kongresista at sino yung kongresista yung asawa ni Gabriela si Isidro Isidro had uh, intercourse kapalit ng scholarship ni Stephanie Ras or kung ano man yung pangalan ng character niya and by that time she also got killed by this assailant and then we and then our fourth victim which is Ava Mendez or Jade who is a mayoral candidate. She is the concubine of Congressman Isidro caught red-handed by his own wife and her partner sa polisya. And by that time, namatay rin si Ava Mendez, si Jade. Namatay si Jade. And by the same style, so binitin siya. We got, yeah, that is basically it na... There is an imposter among them, among us. Maybe the title of this video is Among Us, <laughs> of this review, Among Us. So, who did it? Who did it? Well, sa pagiging malakaibig malakaibigan ni Miss Gabriela, sa pare, she decided to bring him some snacks. And when the, uh, the when father is gone from the compound, she discovered... A few little dirty secrets that the father owned. And she got uh, chloroformed and held into a secret dark room in which the plot exposition, surprise, si Father Ricardo nga ang suspect. Siya pumatay lahat ang babae on his crusade to kill sinful women. Kasi yung nanay niya is a Magdalene, a prostitute, at anak siya ng pare who, is, who happens to be the real Father Ricardo. So his real name, uh, this alleged Ricardo's real name is Jude Purification, and that's where the title comes from. And he decides to live up to his surname, I guess, to purify the village of sinful women. So there's a struggle between uh, Gabriela and Ricardo. Hindi, eh, Ricardo and Gabriela manage to escape. Ricardo hangs himself on the guilt or parang ano kasi di ba nga sinabi ko meron siya parang ability to talk to lost souls so the lost souls of his victims tend to haunt him it was also hinted when sinilip niya yung biktima and chronologically siya rin yung pumatay sa kapatid ni Gabriela which is Teresita played by Kat Davi who happened to like my post in Instagram so yeah after that uh nagbigte si father si Jun si Jude Purification and because of that because of his death na report nga ni ano ni Gabriela na si father yung suspect ng patayan pero nung naabutan patay si 
Jude. And it comes na dahil ang huling kasama ng biktima ay si ano si Kara o si ano si Gabriela. Eh siya na yung naging prime suspect and the movie ends. Now, what can I say about this? I like the premise of the movie of being who done it, sino pumatay. It's the crime thriller that we want with a bit of horror. Ang ayaw ko lang dito kasi yung framing ng parang ano, yung frame transition. Wala siyang transition talaga para fade to black the next scene. And the scene is uneven na parang mabilisan yung pag-transition na yeah, sa, sa isang saglit, nandito sila sa sakahan, then nasa nipahat na like that. It's like an episode segmented. Parang segment of an episode, then segment of another episode, then segment of another episode na pinagtagpi-tagpi, pinagtahi-tahi lang. There's no smooth transition. But I think it helps because, but I think it's there to elevate the feel of the movie being surreal. I just didn't feel it like that. But the scenes are alright. Yung scenes dito, kung kayo ay medyo maano, yung gusto nyo ma-turn on, yes, these are beautiful women, but the sex scenes here, the nudity scenes here, are, po, are all for plot advancements na, yun nga, pinapaiwatig na si Ricardo, or si Jude, or si June, si Purification, ki, uh, tries to have sex with his victims before killing them. Now, dahil pari nga si purification, paano niya nalalaman na makasalanan yung babae? Well, dahil nga pari siya, he has the uh, simple task of confession. So, dahil sa pagkukumpisal, nalaman niya na makasalanan yung babae, and another test is, will the female give in to his sexual tension or yung katawan niya yung laman? Yung tawag ng laman, di ba? Eh yeah, y- yun yung ano. It's a coherent story. I give that I give that a plus. It's a coherent story. Uh I like the uh I like how it flows. I just don't I'm um, just not a fan of how it transitions. And yeah, uh we will now rank the movie based on what I have discussed. And I'm pretty sure Purification isn't a bad one. It's a good one. It's a good movie, but it's not gonna be on the Smash tier or the Will Bang OK tier. I I will not say it's not gonna be an all nighter because all nighters are for those horny sons of uh, horny moments, diba? And I give it to them na it's the uh, sex scenes here are just for plot advancement. So Purification. I'm going to give you just about bearable, very good movie, very decent, and I believe yung sa mga letterbox sa sabihin na, eh, pangit yung pelikula to. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. I wasn't bored, kasi nga meron dito ng thrill na sir, uh, meron dito ng thrill na sino yung pumatay, di ba? And I'm always a fan of those uh, premise like the thing, yun, yung, yung Among Us, and just like that. So yeah, that is my review of Purification. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. And I think next Sunday we will have our review of Wag Mong Agawin ng Akin, episode 2. Tapos Friday, ewan ko ba, we were, are we going, I don't know if I'm going to do two reviews. One is the Patayan Files, which is not a adult movie, but I am interested in, because it's the... Uh, retelling ng mga krimen nung no- dekada 90 and also uh, the influencer will be next week as well starring uh, Chloe Barreto and that is my review that is the preview of my channel have a good night and goodbye bang I should go